Dems appear to be embracing shock issue for 2020. Ultimate end to rule of law by Peter Hassan for WesternJournal.com. Left-wing pundits and activists are increasing pressure on Democratic politicians to embrace the fringe position of abolishing ICE. Once a fringe idea on the far left abolishing the nation's immigration enforcement agency now looks likely to become a campaign issue in the Democrats' 2020 presidential primary. Former Hillary Clinton campaign spokesman Brian Fallon came out for abolishing the agency in January. ICE operates as an unaccountable deportation force, Fallon argued. Dems running in 2020 should campaign on ending the agency in its current form. Liberal writer Jack Merkinson on Friday slammed Harris for her answer in an article titled Not Good Enough, Kamala Harris. Any serious defender of undocumented people in this country would look at ICE and know that it is a cancer that needs to be excised from the U.S., Uh, pretending that the most diseased levers of uh, state power can be molded into something better is a useless fantasy. Ice must be abolished. Anything less is not good enough, Merkinson uh, wrote on uh, Splinter, a left-wing website. Kamala Harris is very likely running for president in 2020, It should be a political problem for her that she is not willing to take her criticisms of ICE to their logical conclusion and call for its uh, abolition. She should be asked over and over again why exactly she is willing to uphold the legitimacy of such a racist, corrupt, and thuggish organization, Markinson concluded. Anyone else who decides to run, Bernie Sanders, Christian Gillibrand, Elizabeth Warren, Eric uh, uh, Garcetti, uh, you name it, uh, should be asked the same question. Left-wing publication The Nation on Friday pushed out a similar piece entitled It's Time to Abolish ICE. The idea of uh, defunding ICE has gained traction among immigrant rights uh, groups, horrified by the uh, speed at which, uh, under President Donald Trump, the agency has ramped up an already brutal deportation process. The nation's Sean McElwee claimed, Major donor-funded groups on the left, including uh, Indivisible Project, the Center for Popular Democracy, and Brand New Congress, now support abolishing the ICE. McElwee noted, ICE is terrorizing American communities right now. Angela Padilla, policy director of the Indivisible Project, told The Nation, They're going into schools, entering hospitals, conducting massive raids, and separating children from parents every day. We are funding those activities, and we need to use all the leverage we have to stop it. This is a growing position on the left, and I imagine 2020 Democratic presidential aspirants will uh, have to grapple with it. Hayes, the MSNBC host, wrote on Twitter he linked to McElwee's article. Acting ICE director Tom Homan said Thursday the Democrats are being misleading uh, about the illegal immigrants that his agency is deporting. Nine out of every ten aliens we arrested in the last fiscal year did have a criminal history, Homan told Fox News. They don't want to know the facts. They want to keep playing this political game and put smoke and mirrors up about what ICE is actually doing. Uh, So again, you see what the Democrats are going to uh, be, uh, uh, you know, um, campaigning on to eliminate ICE. Uh, And uh, how's that going to go for them? I don't think it's going to go very well. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.